It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. I didn't want to say we'd make a donation or she would visit, because it's not my place to to say. And I didn't want to have to rewrite the letter. And the seal. Here you are. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? You'll make it dirty. It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? With your help. Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. Last time she left the stamp here, she took the stamp with her this time because she knows that otherwise I would send the letter as her. Smart girl. Am I just going to take it off the orphanage letter and put it on this one? If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... I'm not gonna risk that. That's <laughs> as great as it sounds. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited... Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Oh god, if she'd come... Sir out. Maynard. Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. <laughs> I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead, then. I didn't well, mean to sound like a bitch when I said it. It's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. Why am I being rude to her? I want to be her friend. <sighs> Bloody cold today, isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. They say it'll be a short autumn. Oi, fuckhead! You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. He's pretty big. I think we'll get along fine. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the Night's Watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The 
wall was erected Talking over 8,000 years ago. Shh. To defend You'll the get us in trouble. Don't be such a bootlicker. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordling. He tried to stick me with this. I'll stuck it in him instead. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You fuck potatoes. What? No! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. Oh, I've got something for your sister. Hey, don't fucking talk about my sister, all right? Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? Finn. Finn and Cutter. Tuttle. Who was it? God. Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? We're looking out for each other. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. Oh God. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Why are you being a dick to me? I covered your ass. Here we go. Again. Who's up? See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Knocking. Demonstrate my combat skills. <sighs> Castle Black. So this is home now. You're doing that all wrong. But we don't have these where I. Mansrader will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target. Head. Good. Right target. Chest. Not bad. Center. Between the eyes. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Don't keep looking at them like you're expecting them to be impressed. And why does John Snow even get a say in this? Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. 
if a real wildling got his hands on him. Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Thought you didn't want to be called a thief. Don't tell, all right. I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. I don't want to tell Finn, but I know that would be a bad idea. Because it'll start a fight. Can't we all just be friends like John Pippin Gren? I just gave that animal a horse gasm. See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. <clears throat> Want some help? <laughs> yeah, I knew Finn wouldn't struggle with it. How big he is. This isn't really a ranger's job. I probably did this in the wrong order. After carrying this, my arms were too tired to hold a sword. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing isn't frozen off. Oh, you're a freak. You know that. Yeah, I do. Finn, I'm trying to be your friend, but you just keep being a prick to me. I'm gonna tell Cotter to slide your dagger back into your chest. Take that! Take that! Oh, watch your bloody tongue! You! Grab a practice sword! I want the one with the red handle. Yeah. This one should do. No. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Come on, keep at it. Four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. How about you and I then? You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it... I'll cut their fucking balls off! Maybe someone stole it. Who the fuck would've... It was you! What? 
You little fucking thief! It weren't me! Finn, don't. I was afraid he would fall on the dagger. I don't have it, I swear! Out of my way! Garrett, do something! What the fuck? You had your chance, you big oaf. Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get here! Here they go again. I'll teach you some goddamn respect. Get off! What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't! And Garrett defended him! The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. You must have hid it. <laughs> and you, I expected better, Tuttle. Just defending Instead my brother. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training, sir. I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man to top the wall. Fine, let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Oh! Mind yeah. your fucking manners. You. Fuck yeah, put him in his with place. Me. I tried to be his friend. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. What did you want to talk about? Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the Queen's cellar well stocked. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. But if Cersei smells it on our breath? A little won't hurt. It's just wine. I promise you, we won't get in trouble. If you promise. Ah. So, I, uh... I want to try to save our friendship. If that means taking a few risks, I'll do it. Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you, but I need you to promise. I swear, I won't tell a soul. Except maybe Marjorie. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. But to always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What happened to your mother? Lady Elena asked no questions. She took care of my mother. And when I was born, she gave me the name Durwell. My mother died not long after. I still love you. I'm... 
I'm so sorry, Sarah. If anything, I love you more. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and no. I was hoping that maybe... Everyone's telling me to t make Marjorie do stuff. Sometime when she comes stuff. to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. It's so Give delicate. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Please, Mira. I can't make that promise, Sarah. You could if you wanted. It's not that difficult. I'm sorry. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. Just because we work with Marjorie doesn't mean we get favors. You she need this more than I do. She doesn't do stuff for my family. Why would she do stuff for you? Hmm. Tyrion, my... A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My lord. Ladies. What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We found it. Found it? Where? In that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. Cersei got drunk and left it there. If Not Cersei that knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. Yet you're worried about an alliance with me? You need to know what risks are worth taking. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. That much is clear. My name is Mira Forrester. It's a sexy Lannister guard. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. I'm here to sell our ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. 
Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? Yeah, we're not selling any of it to you. You had a reason for coming here. Yeah, I know it wasn't sure just to entertain me. I'm sure you already have a proposal in mind. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? A war that may come sooner than you think. However, I know your house needs this. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Oh, job. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. God, it's a bit of a dick. My lady. Yes, Hanson? 